look, the face of excitement. <laughs> I mean... Look at this food, fresh baked. So these three right here is the strip loin, and then the short rib is in the back, these two pieces, with some, um, it looks like we got some potatoes. Probably don't eat the steak knife, but here it is. Okay, thank you. Um, and I don't see, I was looking for green beans. No, there are no, let me get you a side of green beans. Sorry. Okay, no, no worries, thank you. Um, but I don't know, what are the strip, it looks like bacon. I think that's the rainbow carrots. Oh, it is rainbow carrots. Oh, interesting. Gross. Um, I just don't like carrots. I'll probably try them because they're new and interesting. But um, is that? I wonder if that's like a mint paste. Because I don't know. I don't like it. Anyway, looks fantastic. That's how much food there is if you can measure it to my hand. It's definitely um, a mint paste. A mint paste? Yeah. See, I wonder if it's so like. Don't eat it by itself. <laughs> Uh, we, you know what we are? We're classy. <laughs> Very. <laughs> um, Wait, no, not yet. Now I'm classy. <laughs> there you go. Pick us up. Um, but the, uh, I, I wonder, I'll bet it's the same as when I got the the lamb shank at Food and Wine. So finish them up for you, they'll be out very soon for you. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Um, the lamb shank at Food and Wine was had like that mint mint paste with mm. potato crumbles. So I'm very excited to see if this is the same stuff. Anyway, I gotta stop filming because he's eating. My food's getting cold, there. so we're gonna enjoy this. Mm. We kind of don't know what to do. We we have a conundrum, fresh baked. See, <laughs> don't know what to do. Here's the problem. David is down to one bite of carrot oh, that's <laughs> and one bite of wagyu steak. Tell us in the comments what he should eat, and we'll wait till next week before he eats it. We'll get a doggy bag. <laughs> we won't. You have a fridge in the room, it's fine. This will air on, um, like, Wednesday, so... Oh, he's going the meat? Wow, he really likes that carrot. I do really like the carrot. <laughs> I really liked everything, except the nasty carrots that look like bacon. <laughs> I wasn't a fan, but, oh my gosh, this... The green, so that paste, it wasn't a mint paste, it was a uh, chimchurri. Chimichurri. Chimichurri, thank you. Yeah, chimichanga. That, that's from Mary Poppins, Chim Chimchurri. Chim Chimchurri, Chimichanga, Chupacabra. That's what it was. Chup chupacabra sauce. Uh, the Chupacabra sauce. <laughs> and it was delicious. Um, yeah, I smothered my steak in it. And I'm actually very full in that drink. Oh my gosh, the watermelon. Oh, it's so good, you guys. It's very so, sweet, though, so if you're not into a sweet drink, yeah, don't do this. Not drink. for it's you. really good. Very, very good. But, um, yes. And now we're on dessert. to dessert, which I don't know what I'm going to do. we we got to look at the dessert menu again. Yeah, but I'm sure he'll bring this through. Yeah. But the, the lime cheesecake was supposed to be pretty decent. But that other, they're famous for, like, this mousse. It's like a... Whatever that first one was, it was like a fruit mousse or passion fr something, I don't know. I'm probably going to do the sorbet. Like, I think it was like a trio of sorbets or something like that? Yeah, it's like three bites. I don't know. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> a really good sorbet, I, I would imagine. <laughs> well, we'll let you know. We'll, we'll keep you posted. Hey, David. Hey, what? Lift up your, coast, your drink real quick. <laughs> Just do it. Trust me. So, <laughs> fresh baked. <laughs> Tiffin's backwards is is sniff it. I don't, I don't know why that's funny. You laughed a second ago. It's funny. <laughs> uh, I thought it was funny. Anyway, so I didn't actually say. So Tiffin's is a word for a like a container. Oh. That you can take like when you go on the Wild Africa trek, which is a tour here. Mm -hmm. You can you take Tiffin's. They're like metal containers that hold food. For travel, so interesting. The more you know. Thank you. Yeah, you can see the right above. Yep, the shooting starts. Okay, so dessert menu time. We saw this on the outside already, fresh baked. But I think I'm gonna go with the calamansi mousse because that is supposed to be good. Um, and you're getting the the sorbet or the ganache. <laughs> okay, so or the cheesecake or too. the carrot. Yeah, I could go for another thing. <laughs> But um, look at this, you guys. So they got uh, all sorts of different dessert wines. Cognac. If you want two ounces of cognac there, it's only two fifty-five. So that's good. 
And then we've got all sorts of coffee to choose from. Hot coffee cocktails, Irish coffee and whatnot. And then a whole, whole page dedicated just to tea. So you can order tea. And then on the back we have single malt scotches, blend scotch, or blended scotch, whiskeys, cordials. I think the muffin had it right <laughs> when they called you. Have I said on film? I haven't. You haven't. <laughs> okay, so a muffin told me <laughs> via Insta Instagram message that. When did we make up our minds? Mm -hmm. Yes. Hey, gentlemen. You're, boy, were you saved by David. Right. I'm going to go with the sorbet. Very good for you, sir. I will do the calamansi mousse, mousse please. Very good. Thank, Thank you, you, sir. You were saved. Via Instagram <laughs> message. It's fine, actually. I think it's pretty funny. <laughs> that David Reynolds here reminds her. I think it was a her. Ooh, I don't even know now. Pretty sure. I don't know who it was. But she said... <laughs> If Sarah and Ian were to procreate and they had a giant man baby, <laughs> that would be David. And you know what? I'm sorry. I think she nailed it. I mean, I'm flattered because I think the two of them are great. Giant man baby? Come on. He's actually not that tall, so. No, I'm sure. <laughs> but yeah. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Hilarious. Anyway. You know what? Dessert's coming. Mm -hmm. And guess what? You're excited. Very excited. <laughs> David, what you got there? Uh, sorbet. It's like lychee and the other thing that he said. <laughs> dragon... Yeah, no passion fruit. Passion fruit. Yeah. Passion dragon fruit? Passion yeah. fruit with dragon... This crouton is something else too. Or this like little... Yeah, and there's like a sauce. Apparently from what the reviews said, Stop touching stuff. I'm sorry. I'm trying to film it. <laughs> <laughs> um, that yellow sauce is supposed to be amazing, so. Oh, good. Enjoy that. And then I That's got beautiful. the calamansi mousse. Yeah, that is indeed gorgeous. Look at this, you guys. Just, I mean, talk about presentation here. Well done, chef. Yeah, that's that looks fantastic, so. Oh my goodness. I'm, uh, I'm very excited. Oh my goodness. What are you doing? I'm eating. Oh, okay. <laughs> that yellow is really good. Is it really good? It is. What is it? What's it taste like? No idea, but it's really tart. It's like a tart, like citrus almost. Oh, nice. It's delicious. Okay. Well, I'm gonna, well, okay, here. Let's just, you know what? Go for it. They have not yet seen me. So I'm going to take a bite of this. Mm-hmm. Wow. Good. Yeah, it's good. That's like, oh my gosh, it's like, it's spongy. It's citrusy, like light citrus. Mm -hmm. That's very good. Let's see what the uh, sauce is. Like a caramel? 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 Um, no. That's like a, kind of like a cinnamon honey. But it's like a, it's a real light honey. It's not like sticky. It's more of a sauce. And then I don't know what the outer. Oh my gosh, pomegranate. That outside. Wow, this is fantastic. And then this. Is that chocolate or is that just plastic? Chocolate. We're not gonna serve you plastic, bro. Well, the, well. <laughs> hey, these croutons taste like cinnamon toast crunch. See, you don't see the glare. I'm giving him fresh baked. All right. I have your river of lights tickets here. Ah. So show up at the Finding Nemo Theater towards the Dino Land side at 815. They'll take care of you with those seats. They're guaranteed good seats of priority. So after fast pass, it's you and then the standby guest. Awesome. Okay. Very good. Cool. Thanks, David. Well, You're welcome. That's so good. Not you. The guy that actually helped. Oh, wait. You bought dinner. Thanks, David. You're welcome. Yeah, this was amazing, man. Thank you. Ah, oh, so good. And the flour, I'm, I can't wait to get... I don't know what that flour is made out of, but I'm sure it's. it might be chocolate. I don't know. The flour? Yeah. The flour. Oh, so maybe they will serve plastic if they'll serve you a flour. But the flour is edible. 
No, it is not. That's an actual flower, dude. It, look, that's a... F really? <laughs> what? You're disgusting. <laughs> Why? You just ate a flower. It's a pansy. It, it's a pansy? Isn't that what that's called? I don't know. It's called a pansy. So I had a friend that used to eat flowers like rose petals and stuff, like yeah. back in the 80s. He's like, oh, they're good. They're full of vitamins and stuff like that. And, and now he's dead? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Um, <laughs> so what did it taste like? It wasn't good. It tasted like a flower. Uh, no, it just tasted like a... Um, I don't know. Okay. Like a flower. So you're eating your dessert, and I'm not eating mine. Yeah. So fresh baked, I'm going to eat my dessert, and we're going to enjoy this. So we are done with our dinner fresh baked, and it was amazing, but I wanted to show you guys this real quick. So this is another room, the safari gallery room here, and I don't want to interrupt everyone's dinner in here, but look, this right here is Joe Rohde's favorite piece of artwork that is done in here. Uh, it's something electrical, because those are all electrical wires. See that? And they like, I think, I don't know if they light up the, the artwork or what, but it's just, yeah. Joe Rohde, of course, being the, uh, the head Imagineer and pretty much lead designer, the vice president of creations of Animal Kingdom, so. But um, all sorts of amazing artwork. In, uh, in this dining room, which is really cool. And then you come over to this tree, and look at this. You got a baobab tree chilling out on the wall, just a piece of art. So really, really, really cool. But I don't want to hang out in here too long. I don't want to look like a tourist like that guy. He's going to kill me. <laughs> He's going to be like, with his Tennessee accent, when he watches this, he'll be like, so what, I look like a tourist. That wasn't a Tennessee accent. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> I'm just making fun of him because it's fun. I love David. Um, and then, um, yeah, different... I'm not sure what's going on here. Just different little sketch pads and artwork. Because Tiffin's is kind of like... Just like the whole thing is like an art gallery. So we, we sat literally right there at that table. That's where we sat. And then right there is the the art gallery room I was just in. And then look at this. This whole board is just different pictures of probably the Imagineers' trips to Africa. Like you can see right there, like this archway looks just like some of the uh, Expedition Everest cube, you know? And um, like there's something else David pointed out to me. What else did you say? Besides this, what, what were you telling? Oh, this right here. So this looks like um, like, so there's a hidden Mickey, like, there's a section in Africa where Grace and I, when the very first day we filmed, we sat in there and we ate, but right, if you, if you were here in this picture and you kept walking, right about here, that's where there's that hidden Mickey on the wall, it says, what's it say, Fitzwa? Fishwa Fellow. Fishwa Fellow, yeah, which means hidden fellow, and it's a picture of Mickey, which is really cool. So that, this archway looks just like that, which maybe we can go over there and I can just... Yeah point that out, There's that'd be funny. Oh, is it? Yeah, standing right there. Oh, this yeah. On the, uh, yeah, that's him right there, too, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. He's over in this other one. So, so right Joe right. Rohde right there, yeah, the head Imagineer, so pretty, uh, <laughs> it's funny. The Imagineer, ear, Joe Rohde's ear. Speaking of which. <laughs> which is cool. Oh, yes. <laughs> there you go. There is the famous Joe Rohde ear. Right there, fresh baked. <laughs> Which is cool. He's he's an amazing guy. All the, the Imagineers from Marty Sklar. I mean, you know, oh my gosh, awesome, awesome guys. But we're gonna keep walking. We're gonna go on over here. I think uh, David and I are. That drink was so good that we had. So here's the uh, the main check-in area with the whole map of the world here. But the uh, the Nomad Lounge over here with more, more pictures, more photographs, probably of the Imagineers. Yeah, there's Joe Rohde again. Right there with a, uh, some sort of animal. Kitty or dog? I don't know. Um, yeah. Oh, look, there's a, is that Kilimanjaro? It's gotta be, right? Yeah. Mount Kilimanjaro there. 
But um, anyway, inside the Nomad Lounge, which is the bar area and waiting area, look at this. Absolutely incredible, you guys. Very, very comfortable. You can grab grab a drink in here, maybe some appetizers. I don't, I don't know if you can do appetizers or not, but they got these big banners hanging. It's just Tiffin's, man, the restaurants, the signature dining experiences are just that fresh baked. They are experiences, and they're absolutely amazing. So, um, yeah, we're, I'm in love with this place. I love it. The food, food was fantastic. The company was even better, <laughs> but the food was fantastic. And, uh, oh, there you go. There's some grilled octopus in that bowl, which was an appetizer we skipped out on. But, um, yeah, this looks good. So we're going to, I think we're going to enjoy another drink here, and then we're going to head to our Rivers of Light because we did a dinner package, which combines dinner here at Tiffin's with the, uh, the, uh, the Rivers of Light show. And we have Rivers of Light on Fresh Baked Presents, so you can watch the whole show there, but I'm still gonna get it because ha we haven't included it in the actual trip report, so I'm gonna show you guys the show in the uh, in the trip report this week. Edited, of course, as per David's discretion. <laughs> but we're gonna, we're gonna do as much as we can. Oh, look at this. What? Oh my gosh, are you serious? I've never walked out here. Oh, that's what I was talking about before. You see this wall that needs to be here so you can see all the way in. The so there's, wall. okay. So there's the bridge. Here, let's film right here. Poke my head out. So that right there, guys, that's the bridge. That goes into Pandora. And right there, they put that, that wall up. But look, you can see some, uh, some lanterns right there. Oh, this is cool. Look how beautiful this is, you guys. Just awesome. Well, maybe uh, maybe we can get a table out here. We're gonna try. But can we just sit? Let's find out. All right, you guys. So that's where we just were inside the the Nomad Lounge in there. But this right here, you can come on up. It's all right. <laughs> this right here is the. Um, yeah, so that's the entrance to Pandora, right back there. So we just we grabbed a nice little seat right here, and we're gonna we're gonna enjoy another cocktail before the show. And um, Grace is gonna join us too, not here, but like after later on, yeah, after the show. Probably gonna. Um, I think we're all three gonna go ride some dinosaur, which is cool. But dude, this is this is pretty amazing. Yeah, because it's a similar menu to what we had at um, Tiffin's, drink menu wise. And we were able to just walk up and have a, have a seat at one of the tables. Which yeah, we did no reservation, no nothing. We just do it. Which come the summertime, is it going to be that easy? When there's a lot of people, probably not. Yeah, but. Um, yeah, I, I think I'm gonna stick with another that same drink because that was amazing. But David's gonna get something out, something else here. But we're gonna chill, let our food coma relax a little bit because I'm actually quite full. It all hit me. It hit me, David. It hit me. One-two punch. 